The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Welcome to Championship Wrestling, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. I am James Kincaid. No timeless Levi Shapiro today. He is on assignment with Howdy Price somewhere in Mid-South. I think he's working on his drop toe holds or something. But we press on, and I am here to, again, show you some very special presentations from across the United Wrestling Network. On this episode, we will have two championships on the line. Lacey Ryan defends her FSW Women's Championship against Vipers. And in our main event, it is the United World Tag Team Championships being defended. It is SoCal Distancing taking on the Real Money Brothers. Also, we will see Platinum Max Caster taking on the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson. All that and more on this episode. This is Championship Wrestling, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. And certainly, Greek God Papadon, self-proclaimed greatest wrestler alive today, and he's going to try to prove it to everyone across the United Wrestling Network in this ring against Remy Marcel. I'm really liking GGP's intensity. The way he wrapped up that wrist early on. Remy does not oh. want to play GGP's games. Come on, come on. Come on. You're in my world now, sunshine. Well, I, I believe that Greek god Papadon is trying to find the Achilles heel of Remy Marcel in this matchup. Now tossed into the corner, making some work with a chop against the chest. Greek god Papadon now taking, wow. Got some strong words for Allison Lee, our official. Oh, but Remy Marcel answering in kind, firing off big forearm strikes, the super ultra aggressive Remy Marcel. Remy had to fire back after taking a few shots there. GGP hit him with a little cheap shot off the test of strength, and Remy started firing back at him. Oh, big Superman punch in the corner. Remy Marcel. In the corner there, trying to get this thing back on track though, guys. Again, physical matchup like we knew it would be. But Marcel's got speed and agility maybe on his size and on his side into the cover now. Remy Marcel has really reinvented himself over the years, guys. He's become just so much more aggressive and deliberate. Was once part of a great tag team, the Whirlwind Gentleman, where he was a fun, loving, loving tag team wrestler, but ate a big hot shot there and you see the effects almost took his head off and pop it on the veteran quick to capitalize guys absolutely overly aggression can be a little bit of a detriment to you and we saw there remy got put in a bad spot as a result of being a little bit too aggressive man ggp is all over this referee now i had i actually took some time i spoke with greek god papadon before the show and he just I, I almost couldn't get him to stop talking about all of the things that the greeks have given us and now the the greeks invented everything from drama wrestling uh pancration which was early mma blake he said that oh shoulders down for papadon just trying to, to prove that Greeks are just better at everything. They're well, the forefathers of civilization. Yeah, well, and this Greek is someone who would like to give and take away. He also mentioned he wants, he's got his eyes. He wants to be the first ever United Wrestling Network World Heavyweight Champion. And, uh, you know, a title that is yet to be contested. And here we go, nice short clothesline by the veteran. Into the cover, looking to put away Marcel. And really, really trying to intimidate the official here, Blake. He really is. I'm actually surprised that the official hasn't even threatened to maybe throw this match out. That has got to be illegal. I'm not familiar with professional wrestling rules. I'm an MMA guy, but that would not fly in a cage. Time of offense is 
way in the favor right now with the veteran. He's used those veteran wares to stay in control. Look at this neck crank. Just like the you know, bottle top trying to just twist it off. Some, oh, of the brutal, some brutal old school catch wrestling techniques right there. And that's the thing about Papadon is he's incredibly versatile in every style of wrestling, but gosh, Re oh, another quick cover from Papadon, but Remy Marcel, the durability, how Remy Marcel is staying alive in this match. He's a, a two-time FSW No Limits champion. He's defended his title in a cage on a ladder. So it's going to take a lot to keep Remy Marcel down. GGP is doing a good job of slowly chipping away at Remy. That time he had a two count. He's getting a little bit more on the counts now, but he is definitely doing damage to Remy with all these attacks. Sometimes they say the best offense is a good defense, but I think that's not the case right now for Marcel. The problem when you're trying to fight from underneath against GGP is he doesn't make a lot of mistakes, but the door opens there, cracks open for Marcel, and almost comes up with a big roll-up victory and a big wide open shot. And now Marcel starts to throw hands. So that's definitely one of the things about being a 20 year veteran. The so holes in his game are not the same. Wow, that was a big slam by GGP. Remy has got to be hurting. Looking for the victory. Yeah, he got great elevation on that. We talked about his exploits. Greek God Papadon, when he won the prestigious Super 8 tournament, the field he went through, oh, just Tony Nice, uh, Bandito Jr., and Bobby Fish. So quite a who's who. I mean, fans will know those names. Looking for a pile driver, countered by Remy Marcel. Again, toughness personified for Marcel. Remy Marcel, he's got to really find the the strength deep down within. He's 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 an aggressive competitor. He's incredibly physical. And you were saying he, he he's a changed man, Remy Marcel. After spending two years in China, he saw a darker side of the business. He, he cut all his hair off, and he's become the 86er. That was a big counter for Remy right there. He almost got power bombed. GDP got a long two count on that last one. That, that power driver might have been it. Remy's definitely changing the pace right now. Oh, this is a little bit out of his old playbook, though. That looked a little familiar of uh, the whirlwind gentleman with that nice twisting head scissors takedown. So maybe the physicality game not gonna work against Papadon all the time. Called the audible, nicely done. Beautiful sprawl and takedown defense Absolutely. there you by see him catch that leg to prevent the elevation. Beautiful wrestling. That was actually very, very technical by Papadon. And that really nullified the advantage that Remy Marcel had taken in the matchup. He was just starting to get some momentum. You are absolutely right, and that stopped it all. Now Papadon taking a back elbow from Remy Marcel, who's scaling the heights, trying to take Papadon on a one-way ride out of town. Pop him, looks oh. angry, though. <laughs> oh, trying to send him back. That was about as high as Mount Olympus there was Remy Marcel. Comes crashing down with a crossbody. Ooh, look out, kick it over. Northern Light suplex almost spiked him. And a lot of power for Marcel to take him over. And get Beautiful bridge there. He almost got that three count. That was a fantastic oh. suplex into a pinfall. Speaking of suplexes, wow, turns him inside oh out, excuse my gosh. me. GGP looked like he was walking on, on Wobble Street there for a second, and when guys are hurt, that's when they throw everything they can. The strength of Hercules, the speed of Helios, and the pile driver straight to Hades by the Greek god Papadon. Is he going to put him away? He is. And that's all she wrote. Wow, fantastic performance by Greek god Papadon. Here is your winner, the Greek god Papadon. Get the ShamWow mask made in Germany and the USA. It's made with the same high-tech material used to make professional grade masks. But the thing is, you can't wash these. ShamWows are machine washable, reusable, and disposable masks? Come on, you're wasting them like you're a billionaire at a nightclub. Check this out. ShamWows are infused with real zinc to help fight and stop bacteria and other microbes. It's light, breathable, and has a cotton inner layer for comfort. Almost all cloth masks are made with woven fibers, which allow airborne germs and viruses to get through easily. But ShamWow is non-woven and prevents microbes from entering, keeping you safe and sound. So you get it all. Comfort, zinc, reusability, and the best protection. Most masks sold on TV are made overseas. I love imported products too, but quality-wise, <coughs> go with the USA. And you save the environment. Forget the environment. Save yourself. Get your ShamWow mask with zinc for only $29.99 plus free shipping. But if you call now, you'll get a second ShamWow mask free. Just pay for processing. Call 1-800-398-1708 or go to buyshamwowmask.com and enter promo code MASK41. Order now. Has your AC busted, computer crashed, appliance broken? Then you need ARW, American Residential Warranty. Hi, it's me, Anthony Sullivan. 
And yes, you've actually caught me at home relaxing because life's been pretty worry-free since I got coverage with American Residential Warranty. Home appliance repairs and replacement can cause stress and cost you over $3,000 per year. But ARW has home warranty plans starting at less than a dollar a day. My air conditioning broke on a Sunday. It was so hot, I called ARW and they came out and fixed it right away. You won't believe what ARW covers. Heating and air conditioning, washers and dryers, kitchen appliances, plumbing, water heat, electrical systems, flat screens and laptops, even pools and spas, and so much more. All plans are fully customizable and come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call now and get a home security system free with any plan. Call American Residential Warranty. They'll get you covered. Call to find out which home warranty plan is right for you. Are you or someone you know suffering from drugs or alcohol and need help? With private insurance, treatment may be available at little or no cost. By calling us with the patient's private insurance card, we will explain all treatment options. Admissions counselors are standing by. All calls are confidential. This is a free service. Take the first step. Let us help you today. Call 1-800-943-5966. But now putting the FSW title on the line. Another great women's title match coming our way right now. I'm excited for this matchup. I've seen both these girls have matches on their own. I'm excited to see this clash. Lacey Ryan is an extremely athletically gifted woman. And I'm interested to see how Vipers plans on dealing with that. United Wrestling Network bringing great women's division action. I think back to Heather Monroe, Camille, week one. Of course, Thunder Rosa, Priscilla Kelly with that classic for the NWA World Women's title. Last week, a pair of great women's matches that we touched on. And now the FSW title on the line. Women's division alive and well and been a real uh, key point here on Primetime Live. Yeah, they've been showcased, they've been showing out, they've been demonstrating just what these ladies can do. And it's so impressive as Vipers goes low there. But I am, you know, so thrilled about this partnership with FSW. You know, some really big games have come through there with Killer Cross and Hammerstone, just to name a couple. What a move by Lacey. The up and over attempt. Lacey Ryan, such a powerhouse. Trains with the likes of Tom Howard, a longtime veteran in this business. All the way back to the UPW days where John Cena got his start trained. John Cena when he was the prototype. So I think that's a big reason why Lacey Ryan does so well. She trains with a lot of big guys. And so she's very athletically gifted and able to toss around some of these smaller girls. Axe kick there by Vipress. Yeah, and throughout the, the quarantine, as Vipress looking to make history early, uh, trained in, in FSW regularly with the likes of Matt Vandergrift, a great athlete. But Vipress is the one that's on the attack right now, the serpent of evil. If you like the action you're seeing, you can keep up with it. Hashtag prime time on all your social media. Short drop kick by Vipress looking for the cover yet again. And this is a, a very fast start for Vipress when we're used to Lacey Ryan really getting off to a great start with the title. I think Vipers might have known that she's going to swing the hips here and yes. look to go for another yeah. vertical suplex. Impressive yeah. athleticism by Vipers. Wow. Yeah. Lacey Ryan out of Vegas. Right now it was Vipers that was doubling down, maybe looking for the trifecta and scores. Three snap suplexes. Look at the champ perching her back. She's in trouble here. Vipers did a fantastic job there, staying attached to Lacey in each of those slams. That's why she was able to continue slamming. That's why she was able to continue slamming Lacey Ryan there, because she stayed attached. Classic conflict between, you know, grappler and striker, although uh, Vipers can really do it all and you see this, but this is where she's really most comfortable. That Serpent of Evil moniker, because she will constrict her opponents on the mat and look to squeeze the life out of him with the submission. Yeah, she's coming with the game plan, and right, and right now she's executing it to perfection. Lacey trying to fire up here now, though, maybe assert herself in this match, but she's still hurting. Oh, there you see it right there. That constrictor-like action, just taking the back. The hooks are in a standing. Uh, she's deep under the naked. chin. That was very smart of her to stay standing and back Vipers up. If she had fallen to her back, that choke would have gone significantly deeper. Using the ropes now to reapply it. Really sinking it in here, that serpent squeeze, if you will. Vipers was really trying to get what she could out of that choke. She held it for a couple extra seconds there. Wow, then pulling the hair, vicious here by Vipers. But when the title's on the line, and again, looking for her first singles championship gold, expect a very aggressive challenger. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. 
Fish's tactics are definitely Viper's MO. Even if this wasn't a championship match, I'd expect her to be doing similar mean things to her opponent. Viper's well versed variation of the camel clutch here. Oh, James. back under that chin. Tried and true. She's looking yeah. for the choke again. Transition, so. Use that camel clutch and then out of the frying pan into the fire for, for Lacey. So Vipers there didn't control the hips. She didn't have the hooks in. That's why Lacey, ever, or Lacey Ryans was able to turn around and face, face Vipers. Oh, oh, oh. I talked about frying pan and fire, but Vipers just got hit with an absolute skillet right there. What a shot. Vipers does not want to continue going toe to toe with Lacey, though. Lacey has power. Lacey's a, uh, just a prolific striker. But man, this is turning into quite a war with the FSW. Women's title on the line, and now stringing together the offense. Again, Lacey Ryan defeated Taya Valkyrie for that title. So high-level competition in FSW, much like right here in Primetime Live. Yeah, Lacey is double tough, and she is showing it right now. And I think Vipers made a mistake there with the strike, but what a German suplex, Vipers. Oh, Lacey, though, just shaking it off. Yeah, what a German suplex, but Lacey Ryan didn't get the memo. Now look at this, half Nelson suplex, kips up. Gonna, and, but the back still reeling. Residual damage, Blake. So this is one of the times where getting emotional has actually helped a, a competitor. A lot of the times you see them get overly aggressive and do something that starts causing Looking for the win. And I, I gotta ask you, you know, Gorilla Monsoon all, legendarily would always say, adrenaline can do wonders. Is there a point when you're in competition that it, you know, just when you think you got nothing left, that adrenaline kicks in, just gives you that little something extra, as uh, he used to I say? Don't, I don't know what it's to attribute it to, but it's survival mode, fight or flight, whatever you want to call it. When things get on the line, your body can do more than it can on a regular, regular occasion. Lacey Ryan, not usually known for going high risk, James, but it is something that she's been trying to put in her in her uh, toolbox. And look at, oh my god, 450! I've never seen her try and execute that. Yeah, big time high risk, tilt the world now. And look at Piper's going right back to the well again. Constricting her, as you were saying, TK. Got suckered in, made a mistake, high risk. And this time she's in the middle of the ring. It's gonna be significantly harder for her to get to that rope. And she's on her back. I'm not sure how she's gonna get out of this. She needs to start fighting the hooks off the hip to free her hips up so she can turn and face Vipress. We might make more history here on Primetime Live. Title changed hand last week with the national title of the NWA. And now, oh, if this arm drops one more time, it's over, new champ. No, Lacey Ryan digs down, continues to fight on. There's that adrenaline we talked about, Blake. She's trying to fight these hooks off now. She can free her hips just like this. She can escape. Beautiful transition there. Changes the weight. Boy, that had to be tough to kick out of that. Yeah, she has, again, shown herself to be double tough. But credit Vipers' game plan. What a, what a strike by Lacey. That high risk, though, may have cost her. Like you said, you've never seen her try, but we got a cover going here. Could be all. I'm, I'm a big fan of actually seeing her go high risk there because it shows an evolution. I'm not sure if that's the route she should take, but it shows she's trying new things and evolving as a competitor. Would you bust that out with the title on the line? Maybe the title on the line might be a time to show off. You tell me, Jimbo. I don't, I don't know if I would go that route with the stakes so hot. She was able to overcome it, though, guys. High-level striking that left both feet into that bicycle kick. But again, not to be denied. Absolutely tenacious is the serpent of evil. She came in with a game plan, and she is hellbound on executing it. Play. Oh, a headbutt. This thing getting real physical, real fast. Knee up the middle. This thing turning into a grand finale of a fireworks show. Look out. There it is. Knee exploder. Back to the coffin. Here is your winner. And still, the future stars of wrestling. Women's champion, Lacey Ryan. I talked about it, Blake, that it could come down to grappler versus striker. That's, exact, that's exactly what we got with the striker getting the better of it. Take us through the action here, Blake, using your expertise. So here you can see that, that twist into the up knee. Man, Viper looks like she's out cold. She's still on the mat. Another great in a, uh, matchup in a line of phenomenal women's division matches here and it's still in the infancy of primetime live. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. Over the last 12 years, you've helped MyPillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got MyPillow, 
I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress topper sheets and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regularly $89.99, only $29.99 with your promo code. With our 60 day money back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. Attention timeshare owners. This is an urgent consumer alert from the Timeshare Exit Hotline, a national company specializing in helping consumers legally get out of their expensive timeshare contracts. We're offering you a way to legally get rid of your timeshare. So if you're fed up with the maintenance fees that keep on coming and want to learn if you can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, call today. Even if you've tried before and were unsuccessful in getting rid of your timeshare, call today and see if we can help. We offer a complete 100% unconditional client satisfaction guarantee. Make this completely free call and learn how we can help you legally put an end to your timeshare nightmare once and for all. You have nothing to lose, so call right now to qualify and receive a free consultation. You can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, but you've got to call now. Call the number on your screen today. It's a free call. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let BCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. Bell sound set for action. It's going to be the rock god Ricky Gibson. It had to be a bittersweet day for four minutes of heat, guys. They're making their pay per view debut, but of course, as we heard earlier, guitar legend, rock legend Eddie Van Halen passing away at the age of 65. Our best to uh, Eddie's family, friends, fans, of which four minutes of heat certainly are, and they've dedicated this match to Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, certainly touched a lot of lives, and they can either maybe propel them to more success. Hopefully, it doesn't take their eye off the ball. But yeah, very sad news. And you know, I want to pivot to uh, Beef Candy here. Tried to get a word with them, you know, before the show tonight. And uh, you know why I couldn't? Because their candy shipment was delayed. So they were worried about uh, undue sugar crash. I, I hate it when that happens. Uh, look at this now. Trying to pull Ricky Gibson back into their corner. That was kind of the old tug of war trick. Let's let go. Let go with the last set. Keep him over by his tag team partner so they can start keeping him in the corner and doing damage to him. Gibson in control right now. Uh, four minutes heat are the reigning Defy tag team champions. And we see titles. We just saw the FSW title defend, women's title defended here. Perhaps the Defy tag team titles will be on the line at some point. Uh, but it will be a huge win for Beef Candy to beat the uh, reigning champions from the Pacific Northwest. And to gain some ground in the United Wrestling Network as well. Yeah, I think you talked about it, you know, with the fact that they are this throwback tag team, really building that strong bond. What great offense! It's by Eddie there. My, my old broadcast colleague would say, Stu Stone, that's a BOGO. Buy one, get one. Two for the price of one. That double uh, head scissors takedown. And four minutes of heat looking good right now with the double teaming. Uh oh. Talking about Rock. Look at this is one of their signatures. The back. Stab it. Into the cover. One thing four minutes of heat is really good at are these double team tactics. They have a variety of fantastic moves that they use to put their opponents away. I think after that backstab, I think Beef Candy getting a little paranoid right now. Oh, and I, the shot you don't see, Blake. That's the back of the head as well. And let's talk, you talked about earlier uh, pivoting to, to Beef Candy there, James. Let's talk about them. Let's talk about Flex on the outside, Flex McCallion. He has been a manager of champions. At one point, he managed Dickie Mayer, who was the PP3 cup bearer. Uh, kind of forced that cup to be traded in for a shot at the United Tag Team Champions uh, Championship. He, he managed Pac-3, they were United Champs, so he has 
managed tag team title holders in the past. So he's got experience. Yeah, he brings those credentials. And you talk about if Beef Candy is able to get by four minutes of heat here that are such an accomplished tag team, they have been so well together. That's huge for them. It's a statement. Cover now by Mandel after that suplex. Again, Mandel, a great athlete. He's great on his own. We'll see how he functions as part of the team here. Yeah, talent will get you so far in this business, but having fantastic leadership like Flex can definitely take you to the next level. I will say this, though. I think I preferred when Real Money Brothers were throwing money around out here instead of uh, Flex throwing candy. I've had enough candy in the pandemic. I could use I could use more money, I think, than the candy myself. Yep, the suit's a little snug. I, I know all about it. Just all right, of interest. Drop toe hold there by Mandel. So, and look, you're seeing some good ta tag team continuity here, Blake. Exactly. Again, Beef Candy's dragging the kids over to their corner so they can double team in. And you see Freak Nasty Eddie Pearl on the sidelines getting frustrated that his opponent and his tag team partner's getting beat up. Shoes on the other foot here, James, because usually it's four minutes. You watch out for flex here. Be careful. Four minutes of heat are the ones that really have mastered the art of double teaming. They're not. That has been taken out of their playbook right now. And a little extracurricular by flex. The referee not seeing this. Freak Nasty is trying to make his way over there before the referee stops him. Into the cover goes Richie Slade. And man, they, this grinding offense, mauling offense, really similar as he goes, doesn't cost any more to try. It's the type of offense that we saw out of Levi Shapiro, and it certainly was successful for him in our opening contest. Yeah, it looks like they, they sort of stay from the same school of shortcuts. But again, I really go back to the fact that if they are able to pull this off, it is such a state, would be such a state. Oh, come on, is he biting him? And then, and then candy, just throwing candy, insult to injury. Yeah, one thing I can say about Beef Candy is these boys can wrestle as good as their name is bad. Well, that, wow, that was a, a huge right hand just echoed off the walls here at Thunder Studios. Thunder Studios, I guess. Ricky's got to try and do something to get back towards his corner. He needs to create some space off Mandel right now so he can get back to Freak Nasty, get Freak Nasty back in here. Nice drop kick there. Yeah, they, are, they are desperate to make a tag on four minutes and beat Ricky into a cover. One, two, oh! Foot on the rope, man. Heads up move. Nice uh, ring generalship there by the rock god Ricky Gibson. That also tells us what kind of shape Ricky Gibson might be in. He wasn't able to kick out on that. He is seriously hurt right now. Do you think maybe the, the, the idea of going old school and taking it to the road oh, might be taking a little out of a... How, how about that backslide into the guillotine leg drop? Not sure I've ever seen that. Wow, you had to dig deep for that. And I, I would have to consider it just because of the tenure as a tag team by four minutes of heat that it would have to be considered somewhat of an upset of Beef Candy. First time tagging together, in my estimation, uh, pick up the big win here. Yeah, I would absolutely co-sign on that. That would be an upset. And you talk about that backslide, leg drop. I've never seen that. And, you know, we're four weeks into hashtag primetime live. And I've seen, you know, uh, something every week that I've never seen before. Variation of the sleeper rear naked choke here. Now transitions to a front face lock. But the point is, Blake, they continue to really grind down and break down Gibson, who's been in there far too long. So sometimes you'll see a guy when he's just trying to escape, you'll see a guy lock him up and just hold him in place. It's almost like he's stalling, but what he's doing, he's trying to grind out Ricky Gibson's energy. Back. You can see it here. Look at this, James. He's not, he might get him here. He might put him out. Kind of a front, front face guillotine here. It looks like he's under the chin to me. It's a little hard to tell from the boot. Get back to his feet, though. Let's see if he can make his way back to the corner right now. I think it's a good thing Gibson opted for the foot on the rope earlier because maybe he held on to just enough strength to hold on and counter. Oh, it went to the well one too many times. And this time, Mandel pays for it. Here comes Freak Nasty, Eddie Pearl. He's been isolated on the apron for a long time. He's fresh, the proverbial house of fire. No doubt about it. He's got all that energy stored up, and he is using it right now to take control of this man. Back body drop. Oof, that was big time. Oh, watch out, Flex. Get a little too close to the action. Look, the Rhino's getting too close to the car, and uh, but now having to fight out of the corner. So this is a dangerous place for, for uh, Free Nasty to be in this corner. No question. Got to find a way to, to get Slade out of there. <laughs> oh, look out here. Oh man, talk about a buy one, get one. Look at that. That's enough. Man, this has been some action. Eddie Pearl knows how to get those deals. Yeah, Eddie Pearl sent a shot right to the pearls of Ricky Mandel there, courtesy of his partner. Look out here. There is the power ballad. Power ballad center of the ring. Time to 
to rock on. Here are your winners, four minutes of heat. Man, four minutes of heat left beef candy. Well done. Attention. If you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Again, if you've had complications from your hernia surgery after 2006, you could be eligible for financial compensation. We can find out what type of devices were used in your surgery. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. You deserve justice and the call is free. And there is no fee unless we win your case. Call now for your free case evaluation. Again, call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. This is a national health care alert from the 24-7 Diabetic Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one has diabetes, listen closely. Now, regardless of your age, if you have insurance, you may qualify to receive diabetic testing supplies with little to no out-of-pocket cost. Get free delivery, free information, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers for free. Call the 24-7 Diabetic Health Hotline now for details. Toll free at this number. But wait, there's more. If you call right now, you could get a meter upgrade. In addition, we'll give you a free pair of diabetic socks as our special gift to you. Regardless of your age, if you suffer with diabetes and have insurance, you may qualify to get free delivery of your supplies. Call now. We can help. Call 1-800-216-0543. 1-800-216-0543. That's 1-800-216-0543. Call now. You've decided to go back to school. Good for you. Which would you rather do? Get up early, get dressed, drive to college, find a parking spot, walk across campus, only to sit in a giant lecture hall, or earn your degree from home with Independence University. We'll even provide you with a new laptop and tablet to keep when you graduate, and a personal student success team. Independence University, online, but never alone. Call 1-800-590-4153, 1-800-590-4153. There, there you have it, the hit maker taking a little preemptive strike against the Dirty Daddy. Will it pay off? I'm not so sure. Getting inside your opponent's head is a big thing that we use to mix martial arts, so I'm not surprised he does it as well. You know who I am! Introducing his opponent from Killa Hills, 10304, weighing at 242 pounds, the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson. I mean, I might be going on a limb here, guys, but I don't think the Dirty Daddy was impressed with the lyrical stylings of Max Caster. Certainly not. You know, neither one of these competitors lacking for confidence. Chris Dickinson invoking Freddy Krueger at the top of our show. Yeah, yeah, one, two, uh, Daddy's coming for you. I don't think uh, Freddy's got anything on Dickinson when it comes to nightmare fuel. But look at, look at Caster standing there in the middle of the ring, trading, now going downstairs with the leg kick. Oh, he's looking for the DVD right off the bat. That's how he scored all of his victories thus far in the United Wrestling Network. But I'll tell you, Caster's a big guy that can hang with him in the strength department, at least thus far. I'm surprised that he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dickinson early on, because we have seen the power Dickinson has in his hands. Show no fear. Maybe that's what you have to do to stand up to a bully. I think Chris Dickinson might fit into that category. Certainly, I would agree with that. That was the case. That's what Anthony Idol did and, and uh, you know, was able to score some offense, as is Platinum Max, the hit maker, hey, the self. Me, right, yes, sir. You're looking good, but don't turn your back on the Dirty Daddy. I was just thinking, Dickinson's already looking for the finisher. We already saw him go for that Death Valley driver once. Caster needs to pay attention to what he's doing in there and stop showing off to the camera. Totally agree with you there. Look out, that big belly to back suplex immediately in the cover. And I think Blake's right. 
You know, and usually I, I think he, he's pissed as <laughs> Dickinson after that rap. He wants to he wants to put this thing away in short order. I, I think Dickinson was born pissed off a little bit, at, le at least a little bit. And you know, he's somebody that has really, really been a standout at Primetime Live. Took out Jordan Cruz, Anthony Idol. And now he's in there with the self-proclaimed uh, you know, greatest wrestler in the world who has to seek the salvation of the ropes there. It's Max Caster. And uh, you know, no, no doubting the, the talent of Caster, whether it be on the mic or in the ring. He's had made a good showing, but right now it's Dickinson, the uh, shark smelling blood in the water. He's got those blood-stained kick pads, as our colleague Joe Galley pointed out there in week one. And putting them to use. Dickinson's really doing a number on Caster's leg with that ankle lock initially, and then those big kicks right again, the Death Valley driver. Is this gonna be it? Again, though, Platinum Max finds a way out. And look at that big cutter. Oh my gosh, Upset City. Right, be, might be right next to Music City. No, only a count of two. But he has had an answer thus far. He's had an answer for the DVD and now looking for a variation of that platinum lock. Exactly, I was just gonna say, he calls this a platinum lock. He was showing it to me before the show. Great power though on display by the Dirty Daddy. Yeah. And that's the thing, that's just such a, a hill you're gonna have to yeah. overcome. His violence, his aggressiveness, and his power, talking about Dickinson. Yeah, absolutely, and I, th I think, you know, Dickinson though, yeah. you see him, he, he looks even more focused. I think he's taking Caster very seriously. You know, the time for rhyming might be over, but these two are just going back and forth with big time shots, big time moves. Dickinson brings a great brand of violence, and something that's impressed me in his last outing and thus far in this match, is him being able to continue this with big heavyweights. The first two guys are cruiserweights. Oh Look out here. There you hear it. Mic drop. That's one of his signatures. Into the cover. Oh my goodness. Big win coming. Boy, that was close. What do you do at this point, though? Oh, is he going right for it again? Why not? I, he might be able to keep him down for long. I didn't think so. I, this was my hesitation, was he's not going to be able to get up there in time before Dickinson gets up. The presence of mind for Dickinson, though, to rally back, and now, wow, Caster is in a very precarious position here. Superplex reverberating the ring, my god. Nasty superplex, and one step, one step further. Went all the way to the top. All that power driving Caster through the canvas. And uh, the next, uh, the next LP might be delayed. And now look at the rage, the war face, if you will by the Dirty Daddy. Fans at home loving the action, loving the violence of the Dirty Daddy. Again, chime in, hashtag primetime live. And we're starting, we're back to square one here. This is just how we started. But right now it's Dickinson getting the better of this exchange where he was until that arm. Boy, look at the rage of Caster. Wow, what a fight, guys. Yeah, both guys have been going toe to toe with each other. There it is, Death Valley driver could be all. That's gonna be all she wrote. Here is your winner, Chris Dickinson. What a fight Max Caster gave him. What a fight it was until it wasn't. Dickinson's all, Dickinson always won. DVD away from putting it away. Let's take a look back at the action. Just so impressed with, with Platinum Max until this. He was doing a fantastic job. Where he went wrong was trying, trying to stand toe to toe with Dickinson. It was punches that set this slam up. You just gotta look out when the Dirty Daddy, he puts you in the passenger seat. He's usually the driver and that's all she wrote. What's up y'all, it's Ice-T. Now you never know what's gonna go wrong with your car. It could be a transmission, could be the timing chain or that check engine light. Now can I tell the future? Absolutely not. But I do know it's not a matter of if your car will break down, but when. And before that happens, you should call my friends at Car Shield. Their administrators pay for expensive car repairs, so you don't have to. And that's the truth. Car Shield is America's number one auto protection company. Their administrators have paid out over a billion dollars in claims and cover most vehicles from 5,000 to 150,000 miles. If it wasn't for Car Shield, I would have paid a lot of money out of pocket and I would have been too happy. When I bought my used car, I didn't expect any problems right away. But when it broke down, I'm glad I had Car Shield. Another truth. I drive with Car Shield. Just like you, it goes against my principles to throw money away. I wasn't always famous, and who doesn't love saving money on expensive car repairs? Car Shield is like a guard dog protecting my wallet, which gives me real peace of mind when I drive. 
and you can take that to the bank. With coverage through CarShield administrators, you'll receive 24-7 roadside assistance, courtesy towing, rental reimbursement at no additional charge. Plus, with CarShield's nationwide coverage network, you can choose the mechanic or dealership of your choice no matter where you are. So in one year, I saved $2,500. That's amazing. I don't worry about car breakdowns because I have CarShield. Some of y'all sitting at home might end up just like me, walking. Especially if you get hit with a huge car repair bill you can't afford. Or you could call my friends at CarShield and see that saving money on expensive car repairs is really a smart move. Protect yourself now against expensive auto repair bills. Call CarShield for a free and instant protection plan quote. Once your car breaks down, it's too late. Call 800-319-4849. That's 800-319-4849. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy, with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Broken refrigerator? $2,500. Busted air conditioning? $4,000. Get an American Residential Home Warranty Plan, and when a covered appliance or system breaks, we'll repair it or replace it. Why let a major appliance or system breakdown wipe out your savings? Or deal with the headache of finding quality service people? Their service is great. You can call them 24 hours a day. ARW is so professional. They handled my claim right away. Get a home security system free with any plan. Call American Residential Warranty. They'll get you covered. Honestly, like, I never saw myself wrestling in television. Just because of the way I look and, and like, the way I speak, it's not like TV style or TV rights. So when Hollywood gave me the chance, I was like, are you guys sure? Like, are you sure you want this there? And of course they had all the faith in me and trust. And I remember coming out, doing what I do, um, entertaining the crowd, having fun. And then I saw it back and I was like, oh man, like this is kind of cool. Like seeing myself on TV is like, it's awesome, you know? But it's a different experience, but it's, it's a great experience. Something I never thought I could do. And now that I'm doing it, it's so much fun. Where is this gonna go? My goodness. I don't think anyone knows. Slide Buster! It's more of like a mental thing. Just because like the way I looked, I wasn't bodied up. I wasn't like jumping off of ladders and doing anything like that, like anything crazy. It was just more of a mental thing, like a body image. It was just kind of like, I don't belong there, you know? Like look at those guys, they look great. Like the Scorpio Skies and the Royce Isaacs and they all look fantastic, you know? But when they threw me out there, I knew I can like deliver. And I did, but even, you know, every episode was still in the back of my mind. There's cameras everywhere. You know, like they're gonna see like your flaws in your body. So it's just like, man, I don't look like the guys on WWE and, and, and Impact and stuff like that. So it was just like, well, why am I special? Why, what's so special about me? But I think that fueled my, like my mind in the sense of like, just go out there and like, there's probably, probably another chubby kid that's like, oh, I can't do this. And then they see me and it's just like, what is this guy doing? And I kind of stopped caring. Cause it was like, well, they keep bringing me back. They keep cheering for me. I, I like, Everyone likes me, it's just like, like, just, just be quiet, man. Like, you'll be all right, everything's good. Open challenge to anybody in the back. It does not matter how tall, how small. It doesn't matter who you are. Nick Aldis. <laughs> Peter, Ray Rosas, it doesn't matter because I will still remain your Hollywood Heritage Champion. My proudest moment is winning the Hollywood Heritage Championship. Uh, I was feuding with Royce at the time, Royce Isaacs, and he was unstoppable. I think at one point he had uh, the television title and the 
heritage title. So finally beating him and what was it? Finally getting that, you know what I mean? So that was a awesome moment. Hearing the crowd just pop for it. And then even on top of that, like going back to the people that like, like to help me coming back to the locker room and they all telling me like, you know, congrats, congrats. They all mess with me and like, you know, make fun of me, but they're like, oh, I guess you're all right. I guess you're good. You know what I mean? So like, that was pretty cool. It was a cool moment. He got him! A new champion! Here is your winner and new Hollywood Heritage Champion, Uptown Andy Brown! Me and Adrian as a tag team is like, it's pretty cool, but it's like funny because when you see us in the ring, we're like so like fluent, like everything is going so well, like bang, 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 bang. But it's like the funniest thing, because like when he has somebody and it's time to tag out, he <laughs> he would say something to me where it's like, oh, I hated that. You know what I mean? Or like, we'll do something and then I'll tell him like, oh, I hated that. Or I'll be on the apron and be like, yo, you gotta do this. Do this, and he'll look back like, I oh, know, like stop. And it's just, uh, but we're always butting heads, even in the back when we have to get things together, we're always butting heads about everything. But at the end of the day, like, he's like my best friend. Like I, every time, every time we're done with the match or like heading home, I'll call him and like, yo, how you feeling? How's this, how's that? Like anything I could do to get better or whatever. We're always bouncing out, bouncing ideas off of each other. And teaming with him is, is, is like, is the best because he's like my my best friend and being in there with your best friend someone you trust it's it's always great he's going Rico down, rick has got an three. eye for gold and eye for talent he won't out of las vegas nevada he, he must see last. something go, in the go, real go, money man. brothers go, and they've got a chance to take home some gold here Alyssa. Well, I think the Real Money Brothers are seeing some gold in their future. You know, they came bringing the cash, but they want to leave with the gold. You better get ready. Repo Rick, the Real Money Brothers here to, I guess, whoop that ass and try and take home the titles. Big high stakes tag team title match to kick things off. Got a weapon. Yeah. Introducing the champions at a combined weight of 367 pounds. They are the United World Tag Team Champions, Young Fuego, Adrian Quest, and the last of a dying breed, Andy Brown. So, Cal Distancy! So guys, the Real Money Brothers might have some new representation there in Repo Rick, but a new attitude since returning to action for the Tag Team Champions, now known as SoCal Distancing. Alyssa, your thought on their change in motive as of late? You know, SoCal Distancing, they've said it themselves, they said, welcome to the new normal. So this is, I guess, what SoCal Distancing is all about. They're incredibly dangerous, incredibly unpredictable. You saw how they turned on their former colleague, Ray Rosas, just on a dime with the flip of that switch. Yeah, they turned on Rosas. They were a faction known as Static, a very successful faction at that, but went their own way. Their first time defending the United Tag Team titles since returning to active competition. And of course, the real Money Brothers, we saw them just last week on Primetime Live getting a victory over the Friendship Farm. That paying off in a big way here with a title opportunity. This thing wild to kick things off, Blake, looking more like a tornado match in the early going. I think that was very smart for them to rush the, the Real Money Brothers early because they really took it to the Friendship Farm last week. So by catching them by Ooh. surprise, they've already got the upper hand. Oh, I hit them with that big TFL as if to say, run me my money. Big money clutch with the D cleaner on Andy Brown. They've isolated Adrian Quest. Oh, they might make quick work of the tag team champions here. Twisting elbow, Alyssa, going for the cover. Is uh, Shug or thought he would? Wow, making the tag, tagging in big money clutch. RB Shug said that they're going to try and put some distance between the champs and their titles. And sure enough, 
Oh, big splash to Adrian Quest. Clutch got some distance and some hang time in that splash. Goes for the cover. Impressive. They were able to weather the early storm. The challengers here, the Real Money Brothers, they have taken control of this match, Blake. They had them in serious trouble early on. I would have liked to have seen a pin out of R&B Suge after that uh, elbow off the top rope. More double teaming, but you got oh. Andy Brown on the outside trying to divide and conquer. Look at this, head scissors takedown, nicely done by Adrian Quest. He's the speedster of the team, and Andy Brown the hard hitter, but Adrian Quest hitting hard with that big drop kick. These unorthodox tactics are coming back to pay off for Andy Brown and Adrian Quest. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now. Are you or someone you know suffering from drugs or alcohol and need help? It's time to take control. With private insurance, treatment may be available at little or no cost. The first step is to understand the benefits available through the private health insurance policy. By calling us with the patient's private insurance card, we will explain all treatment options. You'll find out about coverage for detox, residential programs, out-of-state facilities, paid time off. We've helped thousands of families just like yours. Let us help you today to understand the insurance benefits for drug and alcohol addiction treatment. Admissions counselors are standing by. All calls are confidential. This is a free service. Take the first step. Let us help you today. Call 1-800-442-1204. That's 1-800-442-1204. Attention timeshare owners. This is an urgent consumer alert from the Timeshare Exit Hotline, a national company specializing in helping consumers legally get out of their expensive timeshare contracts. We're offering you a way to legally get rid of your timeshare. So if you're fed up with the maintenance fees that keep on coming and want to learn if you can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, call today. Call the number on your screen today. It's a free call. Hello, I'm Mike Bendell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. Over the last 12 years, you've helped MyPillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got MyPillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. That's why I invented MyPillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress topper sheets and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regularly $89.99, only $29.99 with your promo code. With our 60-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Oh. Real Money Brothers from Future Stars are wrestling our two-time FSW champions, but Adrian Quest and Andy Brown, they're the current champions here at the United Wrestling Network. And for good reason. Look at Andy Brown covering all his bases. I like what he did there. He caught... He caught uh, Big Money Clutch sleeping, referee distracted. That will allow a little double teaming. Again, as you said, they're everywhere, and they are everywhere and all over R&B Shug right now. Got advantage of little illegal double teaming, taking some liberties are the champions who have taken control of this team. And that's saying some because we've seen how physical the Real Money Brothers can be. We've seen how physical the Real Money Brothers can be, but I mean, Actually, look, they're putting up quite a fight against SoCal Distancing. Adrian Quest, Young Fuego, bearing the brunt of some blows from R&B Shug. Nice spinning back kick there by Adrian Quest. Oh, tries to quicken the pace, but runs right into that beautiful power slam. But the second time in the matchup, the Shug is, is slow to cover here, Blake. Goes for the tag again. I don't blame that was smart for Shug to get out there. He was definitely taking a lot of damage there from both Adrian and Andy Brown. 
And where RMB should likes to throw hands, this big man, big money cut, Clutch likes to throw that big body around. The former defensive lineman is just right in the backfield and looking for the sack. Big shot there, upstairs he goes again. Looking for the cover, history to be made, our opening contest. No, close call, only two. Wow, a lot of respect for Andy Brown kicking out on that. That was a running boot from a big boy right in the face. You can say a lot for the cohesion of RMB. They've been teaming together, and once they started teaming together, they never looked back. But Adrian Quist and Andy Brown, they kept challenging one another. They put themselves as opponents as well as partners. And you got to hope that that kind of cohesion is going to pay off for the tag team champions to retain. But oh my gosh, we could be wrong. We saw that big combination kick there in the corner last week. The recipient last week was Sweet Robin Shaw. But look at the effects on that strike on one half of the tag team champions. We see Adrian Brown going up, or Adrian Quest going up to the top. Adrian Quest could have been looking for that devastating Phoenix splash. You know SoCal Distant, they always like to hit guys from behind out of nowhere. That would have been a big train change in momentum. Let's get, speaking of getting hit out of nowhere, coming up the middle, and they had the head there tucked of Shook, and he ate that big super kick. Now we see some of that double teaming that put this team on top. Double stomp, Death Valley driver in tandem. Look at this, taking out oh. Shook on the outside. Is that gonna do it, retaining? No. Wow. Shook digging Tremendous. down deep. Tremendous kick out by R&B Shook there. Wow, he dug deep. Well, what a flurry of offense there by the champions. They gotta be surprised that it wasn't enough to put them away, but they have to keep the pedal to the metal, Alyssa. There's never, no, it's nonstop action with SoCal distancing, but Andy Brown missing the finish him. And now double team in the other way. It may come down to who double teams last, double teams best in this physical encounter for the tag team titles. Elevates him up into the flatliner. New champ's going to be crowned. No, sir. Adrian Quest makes the last split second save. A little too much showmanship there. Had he been paying attention to where Adrian Quest was, they might have been walking away with the United Tag Team belts right now. Continue to look at the power, but look at the balance by Adrian Quest. Something's got to give here. Real money brothers. Not to be outdone, but now again, making the save there is Andy Brown upstairs with the flying knee. Nasty, nasty strike. Here comes that teamwork cohesion that we were talking about earlier. Andy Brown and Adrian Quest are back and they're making moves. Caught him with a 40 ounce bounce did Adrian Quest. And now the COD concussion on delivery by Andy Brown. The champs are rolling. Compliments from the last of a dying breed. Tag made. Andy Brown though going for finish him. And we'll see if it lives up to that moniker. Now Adrian Quest, the daredevil, is poised here. Phoenix Splash on the money. Thanks for playing. Back to Vegas. Here are your winners. And still united tag team champions. So, Cat Distancing. Boy, that match was unbelievable. A real clinic in double teaming. And let's take a look back. Here we go, the big Phoenix splash off the top. Absolutely incredible agility from Young Fuego and the cohesion stood the test against RMB. Another phenomenal episode of Championship Wrestling presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling is in the books, but be sure to come on back again next week. We will have more special matches to bring to all of you, including two of my favorite tag teams, the Bodega, where you can get anything you need, including a beatdown, taking on the Wolf Zaddies. I am very excited for that one. And in our main event, outlandish Zicky Dice with a mystery partner taking on the Pope and Watts. Who will his partner be? you have to tune in next week to find out right here on Championship Wrestling, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. The proceeding has been a presentation of the United Wrestling Network.